What are you here from Four Guys Guns? Back with Nick from Weaponcraft. And one of the things that we've seen over the past few years, especially with the recent climates out there, is the rise of the AR-15 and its popularity. With this, you're going to get a lot of people that are kind of fumbling through a proper reload or taught improperly by someone who maybe was doing it back in, no disrespect, the Vietnam era. So Nick, what do you have for us when it comes to this platform and reloading? I think there's a few different things where it's basically a lot of prep work to set yourself up for success. One of those things is going to be how you orient your magazines, whether you face them rounds facing forward or rounds facing rear. Both ways work really well. That's more of a preference thing. And then the other thing is going to be whether or not you're utilizing that bolt release button or if you're trying to come over the top and use a charging handle to send the bolt back into battery. And we're going to talk about sort of the pros and cons of both. Because you'll see a lot of times some people will tell you a stroke is better, some people will tell you to mash that paddle, some people will tell you just hit the button. So a little bit of fine motor skill, gross motor skill going on there, but I'm sure Nick will dive into that real quick. So, you ready? Let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's get this gun reloaded, all right? It's out of ammo. We've all been there. We're shooting our gun and all of a sudden, boom, nothing. Feel that distinctive click. First thing we need to do, we need to get the gun up in our workspace. But before we do that, we need to get this mag out of the gun. So what I like to do, as I'm coming into my workspace, I just drop the mag. If it doesn't drop free, rip it and strip it. Get rid of that thing, we don't need it anymore. You're gonna take your support hand, whatever hand that may be, I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab my new magazine. I like to do beer can grip. I'm gonna put that magazine into my gun, presto, just like that. Give a little bit of a pull, make sure it's seated. From there, I'm gonna take my thumb, and hit the thumb size bolt release button. And now the gun's back in the battery. I can reach up and continue to do whatever it is that I'm doing. There's another method of getting this done. It's gonna start very much the same way. I'm out, do my pew pew pew, I run out of ammo. As I come back in, dump the mag, it drop free. I'm reaching down with my support hand. I'm gonna index the magazine this time. Now I'm coming up like this. I'm gonna insert it into the gun. My thumb is still magically very close to that button. I'm just gonna reach up and push it. Grab the front of my gun, and now I'm back on target. So, either way, whatever your flavor is, you can still utilize your thumb on that bolt release button. Now, why I'm stressing on this so much? This is not an ergonomic motion. To bring the gun into your workspace, drop the magazine, however method you choose to get it back into the gun. From here, I am so compact, all my arms are close into my body, I'm trying to pull the bolt to the rear and now I've got to move my hand all the way up here. It's just a wasted movement where I can just hit the button and be quicker out in front of the gun. So if you do choose to use that method, does it work? Yes, it does. Do I believe it's the fastest way to get back on target? No, I do not. So go ahead, try both ways out, whatever works for you, cool. So here's a quick demonstration of all the things I just talked about. please take a second to go check out Anatomy of a Pistol Reload. And thanks again to Nick Smith and Weaponcraft for having us and use of their awesome new facility. You stay safe, check your chambers. See you on the range.